All right, I'm very excited. First of all, I have a clean bench, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, but I did receive something in the mail. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a look. Click a kit. Okay, out. And let's take a closer look. So, it is an SKU 206166. Uh, 124 64 771. It is a DSO 138 oscilloscope. You know, I've kind of avoided these things, so I know they're going to. I know I'm going to be disappointed with it, but they got too cheap to ignore. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, here's a picture of it. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's got an actual BNC on it. Uh, color LCD. I don't know if it's touchscreen or not. I probably do doubt it, um, although you never know. Uh, a bunch of switches. Um, oh, there's a schematic on the back. Let's take a look. Um, input DC or AC coupled to ground uh, into an amplifier. Uh, into a follower, into a gain selection, uh, into an amplifier, uh, see AC in, so uh, A to D input, ADC input, and a trigger input into a microprocessor of some kind. And then there's some power supply and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. Uh, user manual. I actually printed printed some things, which is kind of nice. Well, heavy paper, resistors, RF chokes, diodes. Wow. I guess it tells you what's supposed to be in the package. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. A troubleshooting guide. Wow. Nice. Um, oh, oh, we've got the surface mount part already loaded on the board, but there are other surface mount parts. So, hmm, and there are some on the back as well. Well, that's troublesome. Um, hmm. So I think I can put on the parts on the front and reflow it and I might heat up that part and reflow it a second time, but I think that'll be all right. Uh, I think the bottom ones I'll have to do by hand. There's only a few. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four parts, so I'll do those by hand. I, flipping boards and resoldering them is tricky. Um, component installation guide. Again, real high quality paper. Nice printouts. How to install parts. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh. Here's the display board. Let's open that up. Come on. It's in there really tight. Let's rip it open. Two point four inch TFT LCD. Looks pretty nice. And uh, scope probe, <laughs> such as it is. Uh, some alligator clips on the end of a uh, on the end of a B and C. And. Bunch of parts.
heart. Oh, there's a bunch of surface mount parts. Marked on the back. It's like a pretty well organized, uh, pretty well organized kit. It's a mixture of uh, surface mount and through hole. Here's another uh, surface mount part. Or uh, I see. So there's uh, another IC, there's a regulator, a uh, bunch of resistors that are all surface mount and everything else looks like it's through hole. Uh, here's the BNC connector, kind of cute. Crystal, 8 megahertz, chokes and stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. Like a reasonable board. I'm not a big fan of red boards, but that's okay. Well, I guess we'll start to have to build it. All right, uh, all the surface mount parts are on. They came out good. Now I think I'll go through the checklist here since they gave it to me. And as you put the parts down, uh, this little uh, check mark, uh, check box, you check it off, and uh, so you don't forget anything. Looks good to me. All right. Well, some time has elapsed. <laughs> it took a while to load this up, but it's looking pretty good. So the uh, display piggybacks on top. Put that on. Here it has to go on. Okay. And it says it needs nine volts. So let's give it nine volts. Let's see what happens. Oh. Nothing happens. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's never a good thing. Uh, I wonder if you actually have to flash the program. Hmm, 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 hmm. And the uh, display looks uh, a bit funky. Let's see here. Let's let's remove the sticker. Oh, good. It's on the sticker. Um. Hmm. Reset button doesn't do anything. Switches don't do anything. Oh dear. Well, hmm. Bummer. Okay. <laughs> Time for troubleshooting. Okay, well. It helps if you read the instructions, so I encourage you to read the instructions. Uh, let's see here. It says, uh, short JP3 with solder. Remember those, those things on the back? They weren't components, they were actually solder bridges that you could put in. They say, don't bridge any of the, of the bottom ones, okay? But they said, there are some ones on the top you need to bridge. There's a JP3 you need to bridge. It says do that. And then over here it says uh, put on 9 volts. Check to see if you've got 3.3 at a test point. And if you do, then put on another jumper. So you need to short JP3 and you need to short JP2. <laughs> and when you do that, yay, it does something. Uh, so it looks like it's doing oscilloscope type things. Amazing. Uh, so it actually has a built-in uh, calibrator signal, like a like a real oscilloscope. Um, 
Let's go ahead and uh, uh, I gotta reach over the top here. Uh, I'm gonna steal a, a real scope probe off of my off of my Rigol here. Okay. And we will connect that up. And we will try their calibrator here. Oh, wow, I think it's working. It is working. Yay. Very cool. So this is a times five times two times one. Uh, those are those are divide by, so one is bigger. And then there's a one volt per division, a 0.1 volt, volt, and a 10 millivolts per. And we have a DC um, coupling, and let's put an AC coupling. It should be in the middle now. There we go. Nice. And then we should be able to change the horizontal here somehow. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Very cool. It's an oscilloscope. Awesome. All right. So, what do we think about this kit? Um, I think it's excellent. Uh, I think I paid twenty dollars uh, for the oscilloscope. Um, it went together really well. If you had to put the surface mount parts on by hand, that'd be a little bit tedious, a little bit pain. But you know, you could get through it. Um, helps if you have a soldering iron with a very, very fine tip and some some very thin solder as well. Um, you could use a hot, uh, hot blow, you know, hot air thing, and, and put them on that way. And that would work great too. Um, but in general, the build quality is very good. The instructions are just excellent, very, very good. And it looks like it actually acts like an oscilloscope. Um, it's quite, it's quite quick. It's quite responsive. Um, I think um, if you don't have an oscilloscope, uh, then get one of these. Uh, at least get a feel for what oscilloscopes can do and what they can't do. Uh, they're they're very valuable, and I and I think it's a good learning experience if you've never, never touched an oscilloscope to, to 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 play with one of these. And um, it's nicer to have a real oscilloscope. Uh, I I think I'll do a different video on how good uh, this thing is. Like what it what is its uh, you know maximum bandwidth? How fast can it go? I'm not sure what what the specs are in it, but we. We'll put a signal generator in and, uh, and see um, see how fast this thing can really go. Um, this is just no 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 ground lead and with and with a ground lead, so it's picking up noise. Um, but yeah, it is. It's it's very nice.